Hello, YouTube. Ooh. Hopefully, we're getting some wonders here. I, I, I don't even, I don't even have the courage to look and see if we're gonna get same turned. I, I, I just don't. I don't have that. I don't have that kind of uh, gusto. Legitimately building the weirdest theater square ever. Hey, circumnavigate. Right, you go there. The whole palace mm. complex mm. is built mm. along the central axis. Policy card slots are a huge deal. Everything in the four directions suspend from this. Now we're Greece. Represented by these palaces. All right, very very happy about that. Uh, we need to be very diligent about Magnus here. Um, Park Theater Square, probably. Uh, I don't care about farms. Only my OCD cares about farms. <laughs> So, what are we doing next then? This isn't a huge priority. St. Basil's would be nice. Christo? Maybe this is a Christo city. After Kilwa? It's a good amount of chops here. These are awkwardly placed, but whatever. You said earlier that this wouldn't win by turn 150. Is this game a speedrun for culture wins? I almost always am trying to speedrun, uh, if I'm perfectly honest. Like, I, uh, as a content creator, the fr the fun and interest level in content is sort of front-weighted. So I, I, I'm almost always trying to speedrun games and win as fast as possible. That's kind of the thing that keeps me interested at this point um, in my Civ career, too, you know? Uh, it just gives me something to, like, a, a self self-motivate and challenge myself with. Um, it's a little redundant, but you know what I mean. This doesn't matter. But yeah, I'm almost always trying to do that. And I think it is possible. I, I don't think I've ever done sub-150 culture. Um, but I do think it's possible with things like Monopolies. Let's take a detour for St. Basil's. Do I have a personal best? I think I could come up... Uh, I could use some tips on how to speed up your scientific win. Um... We could look at my Hall of Fame after this game. I, I, I don't remember enough at this point. Did sub-150 with a Khmer Relic run? That seems solid. Uh, usually I finish culture games around like 170. Uh, usually I finish science around 210, 220. I need to tighten that up as well. Um, and I think that's mostly city sprawl. How many games of Civ have I played? I... <laughs> too many. Way too many. Come here, change for the better. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Gallagher died. Ooh. It's very sad. Are any of the upcoming Civs good for science? Uh... Yeah. Probably. I mean, we're hitting a run of, like, really, um... I wonder how that would translate to online speed. It's not, it's, you don't divide it in half. I would say online speed, that's probably like 130, if I were to guess. Cause it's, it's a little, like it, there's a, there's a curve to it, right? Cause, cause movement, tiles, etc. But I would say on online speed is probably around 130, 135. Inca with their mountains. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Inca's, Inca's very interesting. 
the the upcoming slate is pretty culture heavy, uh, but I know I do that a lot, so I, I I don't know. I don't know exactly what my plans are quite yet. Hey, Veg. Seems to fit with your game now, yeah. I know I can do better than than what I do, um, but I think it takes some cooking of the maps and stuff. These uh, Alcazars are quite nice. I'd rather have these BC side resorts. Yeah, Inca, Brazil. Brazil could go to space. So could Pericles. And so could Russia. Any of those would be fine uh, science civs, honestly. Cause faith first, faith first science. We could try to do science with Russia. It'd be it'd be something different. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing, Kit. Out of this room. That's some insane, insane map seed for Maya. I'm not a big Maya fan. What type of good victory is good for Russia? A, yes, indeed, indeed. Yeah, I love industrial uh, Indonesia music as well. Big fan. Guess this never gets fixed up to the point where that should actually be woods, but whatevs. Whatever. I don't have anywhere for this theater square to go, huh? Might be able to turn that into Seaside Resort. Culture per turn is impressive for one, 146. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing well. Certainly doing well. Especially considering how few uh, theater squares we have. But it's becoming about tourism more so than the culture. Probably need to get rid of some of these tile improvements just to get a few more national parks in here. But I also, at the same time, don't want to do that. I'm going to just send this builder somewhere else. Do I triple lumber mill? Yeah, I've got plenty of spots for uh, national parks. And it's kind of getting too late for them anyways. say why is it too late for national parks um they just won't pay themselves off before we win if you don't so if we look at something it. like here here's our first national park and, and it's not the best in terms of its total tourism but we're getting 16 tourism from it that let's let's call that even uh we've had this down for almost 20 turns now um and we we're rocking about 300 tourism from it right 250 to set to be more specific uh, rock bands can get you several thousand. Uh, they can also sputter out, but even when they sputter out, they're worth like three to 500, I want to say. Um, so just in terms of, of ROI, right? The, the, what we get back from, 
Like, if we place a National Park two turns before we win, it's not really a great use of our faith, right? Uh, especially when we're a little bit limited on faith as Congo. So, that's the way I look at it, then. Uh, at least. It is known that... What are my most essential mods? We're not running any mods at the moment because we're practicing for the Civ Give. Uh, but exclamation point mods, you'll, you'll get our mod list. Um, and I, I miss them. <laughs> I miss them tremendously. But this is, yeah, there you go. Yeah, they're, they're so good. They're, they're just quality of life mods. I really don't like to alter the gameplay um, much, if at all. But they just like save you clicks. Yeah, detailed map tax is great. The the quick deals is the best though. It's the money one. One more ancient artifact and we've got a themed museum. Sometimes I forget that Quick Deals is a mod. I uh, I remember it very well throughout this game. I've remembered that very, very well. Yeah, extended policy cards I missed too. Uh, as I was saying yesterday, I feel not confident at all in my policy card choices based on uh, not seeing the numbers. But it's fine. What do I want? Maybe just this. And then let's go see if anybody has anything worth trading. Do tourism multipliers work with rock bands? Like open borders and stuff? I assume so. Culture gets a little complicated, right? There's a lot of uh, sort of algorithm type stuff that plays into it, I think. Um, so I'm not specifically sure. Hey, that's a good one. Get another trader. Where'd that go? Can we get to Brazil yet? Oh, I really need to uncover that. And we should revive our heroes. I need to somehow to get to Brazil. Just need to bust through this. Let's go to Valletta. Because it would change the cost comparison considerably versus parks for parks versus rock bands. That's fair. Yeah, if you're earning 25% extra for your parks, it's a pretty big multiplier. Why he's so mad? I don't know. <laughs> Do we get Petra? Not yet. I'm getting there.
Ordos, hey buddy. How the heck are you? Long time no sub message. How are you, my friend? <laughs> I'm great. I was I was thinking about you this morning because uh, I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about Dune 2, the next movie that's going to come out like next November. Uh, and obviously the Dune connection between us. So I was just like, <laughs> much love, my friend. Thank you so much for continuing to support the channel. I love you. You're amazing. Really, really appreciate it. Yeah, 63 months, tier two as well. Thank you so, so, so much. I appreciate you. All but one Civ, we're dominant culture, really. So we've got 54. Um, no. Not true, because Pedro's setting this 91. Maybe I misread that message. We're not quite there yet. Have a day off up here. Nice. Nice. Well, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Uh, I'm, I'm glad glad to see you, as always. But it's a, it's a pleasure to have you here. And enjoy your day off. More than anything. What am I doing with all this? Woods. I do want Christo. We played Dune 2 a few months ago. Nice. Nice. I haven't played the new Dune that came out. Has anyone? Does anyone have any thoughts or opinions on that? It looks pretty cool. Like I want to try it, but isn't it early access? I I just really have. I I'm just so out on early access games. I just I don't I don't want to I don't want to play incomplete games anymore. Need a month. Play it on Steam and on stream. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'd be down for trying it, but I, again, if it's not done, I'd, I'm not really that interested. I'll play it when it comes out. It's going to be hard to get a park in here. Religious art. Manor Lords was a decent early access demo. Yeah, I saw people playing that. I heard they hired a sand specialist to get various looks of sand so it doesn't look so dull. That's awesome, actually. But you haven't played since they added the Emperor. Okay. I mean, I'm interested in it, to be sure. This could be a park, actually. I mean, kind of everything can be a park. It'll be a seaside resort. Which we're almost to, six turns. All right, so passing the turn 150 mark, good economy. 55 of 91. I don't know why I'm building farms. I truly don't. What does the job posting for someone who can tell whether or not something looks like sand look like? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> what, and, and and to be a fly on the wall during that interview process and having to like justify <laughs> slash sell your 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 sand skills. <laughs> sand skills is the name of my uh, Tatooine funk band. Probably. I 
I should have said Moss Eisley punk band or funk band. Would have been more specific and they're, they're more more funny. More humorous. Where are my other units? Do I have any? No, I did a lot of... I did some levying. I guess these are my units, but... I think they're still at war, yeah. Norway's never gonna let this go, right? I can maybe turn this into a... Park. Alright, four turns. We'll get this. They have one build left. Perfect. There. Now we're dominant over all but one. Is that true? 60 exceeds... No. No. It's not actually true, game. It's weird that you keep lying to me. These I've planted. Second growth. Oh, that's old growth. Let's chop that. Two envoys. What are we doing with them? Hey, we can finally get them. Booyah. It's coming. Oh, Lord, it's coming. I don't know why I'm still building national parks. I, why, why do I love them so much? Because, again, at this point, the efficiency isn't there. Oh, there's Laventa. And that's my whole thing against industrial zones is the lack of efficiency. And yet, I guess I guess there's an argument that they still continue to give us a bunch of amenities, uh, and that that certainly helps. So maybe that's maybe that's it. And they're pretty. That's also true. The aqueduct. Oh, have I not built it? Good call. What's up, Doc? No, don't spread your Protestant nonsense here. I'll kick you out of my country. I don't like that. Oh, I thought I repaired that. Eleven hundred for the next park. Three turns on radio. None of this matters. Forever gonna build Petra. I need to get it. Some of these cities need some love. That's a that's the problem with the games going so quickly though, is you don't have time to to really sink your teeth into your the quality of your cities. Mm. Also, I need to be buying tiles. Renaissance. Blech. No, I haven't built any of the unique neighborhoods. Not because I don't think they're good. Um, it's just that I don't think I need them. Yeah, that's fair, Kit. That's a fine perspective, I think. This is actually kind of a big deal, huh? 
I think TGM just found a Stone of Jordan. Diablo? Uh, what's my most abundant luxury? It's Coco, right? Although these don't... I don't think these work. I should probably sell all the Diplo favor because this doesn't matter. No amenities for diamonds. All right, let's focus on this. One had a twisted design, red, on a green ground. Another would Biosphere be a good wonder for Congo? I don't like to leave all the the rainforest like that. It, you tend to have a lot of it because that's part of your your start bias, right? Um, but I, I I if you look at the map, I've chopped all of my rainforest basically. Um, I think Biosphere is kind of a little bit more interesting for Pedro. Maybe that's where we go with him when we play him. Oh, you get tourism from power tiles. See, I've never even built it. I'm embarrassed to say. Um. Yeah. Seems fine. I gotta watch this vodka's near victory before rock band's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've gotten I've gotten culture down to pretty comfortably sub one seventy ish or whatever. No, I've never done biosphere tourism. How you doing, BFD? It's good to see you, friend. Radio in two. How much do I care about this? I, I guess not a ton. Let's got sucker into a bio cube exhibit before he was resurrected by the pork. There's a really cool exhibit uh, downtown Denver right now from. Um, why can't I think of his name? Great story, TGM. Great story, bro. Why can't I do this game? David Byrne. David Byrne uh, of the Talking Heads, who's a, a, a really smart, creative dude, kind of always doing weird out there stuff. Uh, and I really want to go, but it's pretty expensive. It's like pretty expensive. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Chimera. Good. I didn't know you were here. I would have just asked you. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty expensive, which is sad because it seems like really cool, but... David Byrne is the name. Uh, I guess I do want production here. Let's do that. Are we ever going to finish the Petra? I don't know.
And then you found $20 makes the story better. <laughs> okay, are you continuing to lie to me, game? Nine turns. Yeah, and I'm not even at Rock Bands yet. Frankly, nowhere near him. Radio next turn. Seaside Resorts. A world without radio. I'm still going to get naturalists, I suppose. I know, I heard that, Blue Wings. I'm an autopilot? A little bit. Basically, we get to computers and it's done, I think. We have a lot of great works. Speaking of which, don't need to buy that. Ooh, you don't, what? You don't want to trade stuff to me. That is rude. You should be more generous. Oh, it's it's because I'm getting close. I should have bought this stuff before, huh? Sad. Farm's gonna help though. I'm certain of it. That's Potato Palace, I'll bet. Nope, Oxford. Just want a culture victory? Nice, congratulations. We thought Poland Reliquary's Void would crush culture, but it was just kind of okay. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. So 74 is higher. No, still. It's still not. Lies. Lies game. I don't understand. I don't understand. We like dropped all our mods and yet it's still a little buggy. Only 380 total tourism, by the way. Seems kind of low. So rookie numbers, I know, right? Usually we're up around a thousand to two thousand to win. Democracy, so you can have more tourism per turn from the cards. I don't like going monop. Uh, I don't. I don't like going democracy because it's a it's a negative multiplier for most civs. Because uh, you get the the different government punishment. Alcazars have been super nice to have. I could move Reyna up here too. Might be better. Can I boost electricity with two privateers? Uh, possibly. Let's, 
That's a good call, though. Just hit our multipliers. Which means I need a little more money. I guess I need raw money. I'm going to do a specific practice with civs for the civ give um, or the marathon just be practice. Ah, it's a good question. I don't, I don't know. Um, I think once we're established with the map and who, who everyone's playing and stuff, I may want to practice uh, a, a little bit. Why did I just spend my gold on that? Happy Friday. Why did I just spend my gold on that? We talked about the privateers. That's the thing that we need. Why am I so silly? <laughs> who, who else has money? Shaka, maybe? Higher thoughts. Thank you so much. Hey, how you doing? Uh, thank you for the 20 months. That's incredible. I appreciate it. All right. We can do it next turn. All will be well. No trade routes to Brazil just yet. We're getting so close though. Just do this. When is Civ give? Uh, December 11th? Let me look at the calendar. I can pick it out if I look at the calendar. Yeah, I think it's December 11th. One month from now. Oh, there's aluminum there. Switch to democracy for the computers boost and then theocracy for the faith discount on rock bands. It's not a bad idea. Again, I, I, I don't think I care. We're so close. I think microing uh, much of anything at this point is probably not super productive. What's the Civ give? A uh, big Civ charity event put on by the awesome folks over at the Civ show. Uh, and last year we added in the uh, support of, of 2K and their marketing department and stuff. So yeah, it's a, it's a really cool event. Um, it's a, it, it culminates in a big multiplayer game um, slash fundraising sort of evening and it's pretty fun at least I had fun last year monopolies do I have right now I don't even have the tech for uh, for actually having monopolies but I can tell you what the modifier is it's just 75% which is why we're able to be so far along with such uh, s such little tourism this doesn't matter, but whatever. It don't matter. And yeah, it benefits children's hospitals around the world. Uh, as well as, uh, you know. Yeah, I guess just the kids. I don't know. There's no as well as. Yeah, that's an interesting. I, I, I was just thinking about the democracy thing. I wonder if that's worth it. It may be. Like, I'm microing all the rest of this stuff, right? Hmm. I want your 130 gold. Hehehe. <laughs> 
No, that's true though, I think, BFD. <sighs> Who's got raw money? Norway's not gonna like me enough to trade. I guess Guitarja? I know I'm over trading. I'm just trying to save clicks. Thus it is. Crystal could be a thing too. Been an RPT weekdays. Ooh, yeah, long COVID. That's no fun. Oh my gosh. Aw. Well, I'm happy you're feeling a little bit better, Ira. Thoughts? If it weren't for electricity, we'd all be watching. <laughs> Thank you, BFD. What a what a champion. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you, you struggled a bit, but I hope you get better. Hope things are on the mend. I've started therapy recently. That's my big news. It is long overdue. Long, long overdue. Come to the desert. We have sand. Well, we're rooting for you. I'm sure it's not fun. We have sand and rock formations. I mean, people go to like Death Valley and stuff, right? Sand curated by the finest sand specialist. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> indeed. Stetin in the Baltic. Uh oh. Whoops. That wasn't a great Magnus. We're almost done though, so again, why am I microing? I don't know. Let's definitely get the the, the water mill, that'll be great. This, this is kind of silly. Sure. I think the level of sandbox games nice. I like it. I like it. Then a hurricane came. Nine of ninety-eight. I suppose I can get some rock bands. Ninety-three. Ah, see, so we're just, we're just like done with this. It's and it is Pedro that we need, right? Not having a trade route to him has has been something that's definitely slowed us down. For sure. And devastation rained. Uh oh. Something about a future drip dripping down the drain. Zulu. Yeah. Now we're officially ahead of everybody but Pedro. Pet 
Petra is not going to finish. I regret to say. <laughs> Sorry, Petra. Usually you're a higher priority for me because it's fun. Yeah, super unlucky with the engineers. Like, this first one hasn't even been taken yet. And I would have faith bought it a while ago if it was useful. But it wasn't. That should be it, right? Oh, not quite. Almost. It's a forest fire? Oh my goodness. Jeb is so good on Congo. I wish we would have had a spot for that. A little bit more faith per turn. It's just so hard to come by. Alright, there we go. Turn 162. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty happy with this one. Um, you know. I'd say it went well. GG. The GG. Thank you, chat. Thanks for hanging out. This is great. But in how those accomplishments last. <laughs> it's true, Wills. Yeah. Yeah. This was seven seas. Yeah, we hadn't done seven seas in a while. Will ensure that our culture stands for all time. So solid. So if if um. Le Le Chevre. Uh, if you're still here, we can look at the Hall of Fame, if you want. But otherwise, we'll say goodbye to YouTubers. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I do see you. I do appreciate you. This is a fun one. Not too much action, really, but uh, a nice sim game. And, and a testament to what Congo can do. Congo pairs very well with the Monopolies, too. Uh, look at that. 49 merchant points per turn here. There we go. Finally get the wonder engineer but writer and artist yeah really nice great people game so ggs everybody thank you so much for watching see you next time